Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing and today I am predicting Fight Night Live um, um, fr um, this Friday it is Jose, Abur Elis Jose Burton v Elis Zorro topping the bill but before that we're also you've got a good undercard that we um we're going to be predicting the whole card so we are starting off with George G Force Davy um the I'll try, I'll try to say his name uh, Bartos Glowacki um that's over six rounds and um just to say George is like a few because he's had six fights, just to name a few. He's been in there with um, Dale Arrowsmith, Jeff Thomas, Paul Cummings, Serge Ambomo, and uh, Jamie Stewart, which is his biggest win of his career in my eyes. Whether Bartos Glowacki, six wins, 11 defeats, one draw, uh, just to name... He's coming off... Um, a win in his last fight, uh, a stoppage win in round four is Glowacki. Uh, to name a few, he's been in there with Sh um, Shakal Thompson, um, Indabasi. Um, yeah, they're, they're the two standout names in his career. It is six rounds, uh, very durable fella. Uh, we always know that the the Polish are always tough. Their their game. Um, he's come. It, I reckon he'll he'll try and go for it and he'll take it to George Davy, as um he's coming. He's hungry as he's coming off um a back of a win. So I do think Glowacki will fancy his chances with George Davy, but I do believe George Davy it will be a shutout points win for George Davy. Um. 660 to 54. I, I can't see him dropping him. I can't see him stopping him. So yeah, 60 54. Uh, but yeah. Then we have got uh we have got Ryan Gar Ryan Garner 12 and 0 against Ed Eduardo Valada. Uh, of course, Ryan Garner, 12 and 0, just to name a few people he's been in there with. Um, the Piranha, they called him. He calls himself. Uh, he's been better. These are the, the like the standout names. Uh, you've got Jordan Ellison, um, Pedro Manuel Gomez, who is probably the best person he's. Like the biggest win of his career, Jamie Quinn, uh, Jose Algla, uh, yeah, they're they're the main wins on Ryan's career. Uh, Eduardo Valadero, Tommy Collins, Yusuf Kamari, uh, Macaulay Owen. He's been there with a few British talent and Dante Dixon, and his the um. Eduardo's last win was split decision back in twenty July twenty twenty two. So, but he's coming off four defeats, three of them being British fighters. Um, so Ryan the Piranha Garner. Uh, this is this is scheduled for six. Uh, Glow uh no, not Glowacki. I've spoken about him. Eduardo again, another very durable man. Ryan, twelve and zero, surely looking to try and push on for titles soon. As you know, if he wins this, he'll be thirteen and zero. But yeah, surely Ryan's got to try and look at getting him in that domestic scene with the super featherweights. And I, I do believe he'll he'll win this. Don't I don't think he'll stop him. But I, I reckon it'll be be a good fight for Ryan. Uh but um yeah, I'm saying Ryan 59-55. I think Eduardo will take a round off him. But yeah, I think Ryan Garner will will get the job done. 
of course. Then you've also got Chris Bork v Kevin Tranner. Chris Bork, of course, eleven and one. Of course, he's he's been in there with Darwin Martinez, James Beach Jr., Mark M- Mikhail Rebletza, Rames Mahmoud, um, Louis Norman, Jake Pollard, Ricky Starkey, and of course that defeat to Mark Leach, which was the, for the British title, but. I like Bork as a fighter. Very awkward, very slick. He, he's a tough man, good fighter, really good fighter. I do believe he's dropped down to bantamweight uh, when he fought that Martinez. I think, I don't see why he's done that uh, because I still think he, he could easily still be in the mix with the likes of Dennis McCann, uh, Liam Davis. I still think if rematch with Leach, I'd like to see it, but yeah, I th- don't blame him for going down to Bantamweights because he, he's he's done well there. He beat Mahmood for thin house for the English. He's also beat Robletsa, KO, James Beach. He outboxed James Beach, and James Beach is a great fighter. Um, but last time Darwin M- Martinez, he came in first round, looked a bit a bit of ring rust since he wasn't he wasn't in the ring since March. So a bit a little bit of ring rust. But he picked him up, picked it up in the second round, then he stopped him in the third. Brutal, brutal body shot, brutal. And, of course, this Kevin Trana, uh, again, this is a fight he wants because a winning record, he's back to fighting these women. One journeyman to get back in the swing of things. Now he's fighting another good fighter in Kevin Trana, who's 15 three, and three, two draws. Kevin Trana... He's coming off a defeat to Bradley Strad, who, who's a British fighter as well. Uh, oh, they've both got um, a, a, both have beaten Darwin Martinez, but um, he took in the uh, no, it was a disqualification win for Kevin Trana, but he's been, uh, lost to Brad Strad last time out. Uh, yeah, Hector Thomas, he's. Torres, he's beat, and Eddie Lopez. I think it's scheduled how many rounds? Scheduled for six. Uh, I reckon I reckon Kevin will try to take the fight at Bork. It'll play into Chris Bork's hands. And I'm, I'm going to say round four, Chris Bork by knockout. Wouldn't shock me if it's on points, but I'm, I'm backing Chris Bork. I do really wait. Chris Bork is a fighter, very slick, very awkward, and he's he, he's very aggressive. A bit of a counter puncher as well is Bork, but yeah, that is going to be a good fight. I can't cannot wait for that one. Then you've also got Sean Noakes in his last fight beat Santi Santi Argo Gracias with a massive straight right hand to the chin, and he's absolutely he sent. Um, Santiago to slip. Brutal knockout. Absolutely brutal. Of course, he's also beaten Lee Hallett on his debut, which I was there. A good, good debut win for Sean. Then he stopped MJ Hall, which not many fighters do. So you that win looks really good on his records. Uh, of course, Petr Alexandrov and Santiago. Uh, but these... I, I like how they've stepped him up until this is a good fight for Sean. This is very good fight for Sean. And I'm going to, because Robin Zamora, 19 wins, 20 defeats. So he's not coming to lie down. Um, Of course, he's been in there with some on British soil before. Of course, Pierce O'Leary. So what happened with him? I was a bit confused. No, nah, knockout. Because he, he buzzed him. He his gumshoe went flying and he was a bit, I don't know, I, I think, I don't know what happened there, but he got a bit confusing. He, I think he didn't know where he was, but brutal how well, Pierce O'Leary beat him. Uh, Hector Garcia, Gavin McDonald, Regan Glacking, Glacking, sorry. Uh, yeah, and this is scheduled for six rounds. 
in the world the welterweight division. And um, yeah, I think this is a good fight for Shauna, and I like the way they're stepping him up. Very like that. That's good. Good step up, right opponent. I think for uh his his fifth fight um against Robin Zamora tough man is Robin I'm sure he'll he because he always goes for it that's going to be a good fight but I, I'm going to say 59 to 55 Sean but maybe Robin Robin walks on to one I reckon that could that's that's a great fight uh but I, I reckon Sean will get the job done then you've got Alloys Junior, uh, the animal as they call him. Uh, three wins, one defeat, but three knockout, absolutely brutal knockout. But he he did lose on his debut to Miguel Sanjinski, who we'll get on to next, as he's got a brutal fight. That's going to be a war that one. Um, but Alloys as well. He fought on that ball glitch card. He 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 beat him in uh, round one. Then he beat pa Powell Sazisky, who people thought would be uh Strawisky Stro Stor um tough man. Then he beat Jiri Portugal by knockout in thirty seconds. Man, that was he's brutal. And then that he's he's got um he was meant to fight even King, but he's got. Um, a step in in Bonan Garicci, and um, Boran is three wins, two two defeats with two wins by knockout. So a good fight for Alohoy. I think it's a step up from his last three. Not three. Not not. Yeah, his last three opponents. This is a good step up, of course. Chinchinski for on twenty four hours notice, but I'd like to see a rematch for that. But Maybe you down the down, down the line, but I know Alloys is ready for that whenever. Um, but Bonner, bit of an unknown. I haven't seen him fight. I uh, haven't seen much, but based on what I know of Alahoy, um, I, you just can't predict anything but a knockout, can you? Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say round one. <laughs> I'm gonna say round one. Whether he, he's trying to get a rounds in, I don't know. But I know this guy's been stopped. When he's when he's lost his two fights, he's been stopped. And I think I've looked at the fighters, like their records, and I don't think they're better than Alahoy. So I reckon Alahoy will get him out there in one minute. Don't blink. I've got to get my... I'm going to film the fight straight away, so I'll just get the whole fight on film because I'll just knock him out straight away. But, yeah. Uh, then you've got and Carol Atuma making his comeback. Fair, good, good on him because from his fight, his last fight, didn't go his way, unfortunately. But he's beaten, uh, he's, he's, I'll say his record, so he's nine wins, one defeat. But he's beaten... Lewis Van Poch on his debut. He stopped Ryan Hibbert. Tough man. Very tough man. Uh, Tim Velatra. Daryl Sharp. Tamas Lasaska. Then he fought Jerry, Jerry Cropper, who was a step up. Managed to give him a runny nose. And then um, first defeat for Jerry. Jerry was coming to win. He, he was a prospect. Now Jerry's decided to go on the road, but... He was the one who took his O. Then he beat Michael Chiachi, a bit of a journeyman, a, a journeyman as well, but tough man. Then he stopped Magal Gazeski. I was a uh, brutal. He's just he's a monster. Then he beat Vladimir Bajeski, who's a very tough Irish fighter, very games. He's he's like the one that stepped up. So when he fought that Mandaran. It came up to a bit of a shock for me, really, when he he lost that fight. It came it came to a shock to everyone as everyone was rating him still very highly. I do rate him highly still. I do believe, uh, well, he's got a tough man in Khalid Grandula, but for me, 
It's good to see him back go for eight rounds. Wouldn't surprise me if, well, he's the guy's 10 wins, nine defeats, four, uh, four draws. It wouldn't surprise me if he wants to get the rounds in just to show people. Or I think he'll try and prove his point. Um, I think Carroll will try and prove his point, And I believe he will. Uh, it, I reckon he'll get the stoppage. Round three, I reckon body shot for Carol with Tuma. Uh, yeah, I hope so as well, because I do still rate him very highly. And if he wins, I would, because I would like to see him fight uh, uh, Igzuela Mandarin, uh, Mandarina again, whether Willie Hutchinson uh, beats him. Uh, we'll get onto that prediction in a minute. But whether whatever happens, uh, if Carroll beats the guy, which I think he will, even if Mandarano loses to Hutchinson, I still want to see that run back because I still think Carroll could get the better of him. Um, now we've got Miguel Sonsinski, uh, of course, seven and oh, brutal fight with Alloys Jr., but and then he's he's also got the better of Matt Sen. Uh, Alan Kraki, Adrian Valentin, uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, that was in March, on the 10th of March in Poland. But now he's got a very, t- very good step up in a uh, Israel Dufus, who's 20 and 9. So, no, yeah. Of course, he, he's coming off a back of three defeats, but to Chev Clark, Chev. Every I expected Chev to knock him out. He didn't. And Chev, yeah, he's just he's a great fight. Richard Revia as well. So he's been in there with top fighters. Massive step up for Shinsinski. Um but for me, it could go either way. Would not surprise me in the slightest as is if it if is Raul Dufus Beats him, but the, I reckon surely it's not going the distance. It's got war written all over it. Got fight of the night written all over it. Uh, surely, surely there's got to be a knockout. Um, uh, I don't know who to edge it to. Um. After all that, I'm going to say points. It's over six rounds. I reckon it's going to be a dogfight all the way through. Um, I'm going to say 58-57 to... Um, I reckon there'll be one knockdown in the fight and this knockdown will decide it. And I'm, I'm going to say... Is Israel Dufus? I reckon Israel Dufus is going to get the job done. Um, but that's a close fight. I reckon Israel will put him over. Wouldn't surprise me if they both get put over or one gets knocked out. But yeah, I, I reckon Dufus on this one. But for Shinsinski, good luck to it. It'd be a great fight. If if him and Alloy both win, which I reckon Alloy will, but wouldn't surprise me if Shinsinski did, but that uh, that's going to happen in, down the line. And then moving on to our co-main event of the evening, we got Izwelvkwa Mandarin Mandarana against Willie the Hutch Train Hutchinson. Of course, Izwell Mandarana twenty nine and ten. Of course, coming off a two good stoppage wins, round five, one against Max Solano, it X Oxen Cross on against and also Carol Atuma. And he's also been in there with Powell Stefan. But a BF. He's been in there with Bert BF as well. Uh, very tough kids. Uh, of course he beat Atuma. Willie Hutchinson stepped up from super middle. He's had a very stepped up. He's a very good, very good Willie Hutchinson. Of course, he's last beaten Lucas Sabinski. I think that was for the WBA or something. Uh, beat him right hook. 
fresh is fresh that shot. Also won on the Davis Leach card. Lost to Lennox like took loads, lots of time out. Stepped up to like Evie and he's a beast at that. And I, I can't wait. I really want to see him step up with the likes of Ricky Summers, Joe McIntyre, Shaq and Pitters. That domestic scene's on fire at the minute. Uh, he's beaten Ben Thomas as well, Adam Jones. Over 10 rounds, the WBC international title. I reckon I reckon Carol Atuma had an off night uh, that night. I think that was just a bit lucky that night for Mandarana. But I reckon Willie beats him in five rounds. Inside five, hopefully as well. So I'm saying and the new for Willie the Hutch Train Hutchinson. Now moving on to our main event of the evening, we have got Ellis Zorro, Jose Burton for the WBO European Cruiserweight title is on the line. Of course, Ellis Zorro is he, he beaten Dex Spellman. What a brutal fight that was. I, I was there. Atmosphere was electric with that one. Uh, but he did get decked down with a body shot, which was a brutal shot from Zorro. Um, but yeah, um, very good shot. And then he won he won the, the cruiserweight tournament. The the boxer series. Uh, he beat James Farrell, Jamie Smith, and Ricky Reeves. Also beaten Uze Jovia twice, Powell Sunchinsk one and um yes whether Jose Burton don't forget Jose Burton used to be a light heavy heavyweight he's coming off a win two wins errors uh, Eric Nazara Daryl Sharp he don't forget also being in there with Richard Bolotniks uh lost unanimous Dan Aziz got stopped that's, I think that's when he made the decision to jump up to light heavy. That was his last one. Uh, oh, no, that was his last one at light heavy. Sorry, he's jumped up to cruiserweight now. So, yes. Um, Nathan King as well. Um, yes. This, again, I'm looking forward to it. Very good fight. I think if you look at the records, of course, you look... Dan Aziz and Belotnik, but he's lost to both. Soros beating the better fighters. Uh, you've seen him live, but you both TV fighters, I think. So it's a brilliant fight for a Friday night, I think. I'm looking forward to it. I reckon it, it'll be a knockout. Seven, se round seven or eight. If I had to say one, it'll be round seven. And if I have to pick one, I'm I'm edging towards Ellis Zorro for the knockout win. But yes, should be a brilliant night of boxing this. Thank you for watching this video of my predictions. And um, yeah, goodbye for now.